boom, recording. Good morning, good morning. This is the Morning Motivation Show. My name is Thomas Warden, and Julio Reyes, Shiloh, Angie, Ryan, JJ, Carol, Dennis, and all of the other communities that you see across the world and here today to bring love, bring knowledge, bring inspiration, bring words of change. Change to ourself is where it all starts. Change within our mindset is where it all starts. Everyone in this community has been coming to these morning motivations long enough now, and we all get up on a day-to-day -day basis and we give the gratitude and say thank you for the life that we have. The roof that's over our head, the food that's in the belly, and the clothes that's on our back. And the ones that are around us that love us and support us on a day-to-day -day basis, we give gratitude and love to them as well. And everybody that's went within our community and is doing things out there to shift their life into a whole new direction, we give in love to them. And those who are still in the zombie state, we give love to them as well. Why? Because we were once in that state as well. We used to be somebody who always would follow the norm of what everybody else had to do and go in the direction of going to this school and then going over here to this uh, job and just being the day-to-day -day groundhog people. But everyone that you see in this panel this morning has shifted our life and our energies by changing the words that we give to ourselves changing our thought process and understanding that we are a power source within and that we can create whatever we truly desire. And a lot of people say that can't be, and yes, it can be because I desire to be an online entrepreneur. I desire to learn how to do online marketing. I desired a lot of different things in my life that has manifested. Why? Because I gave the energy and I gave the focus to it. And with that energy and with that focus, I was able to do the things that I'm talking about right there. I went from the safety construction industry to building an online business to now operating a seven day a week morning motivation show that's hosted with everybody that you see right here in the morning times. And everyone in here that you see, we have all shifted our life in the same direction of having a better focus and clarity of what we wanted. Julio is living his direction in his life and building his dreams and going after the things that he has truly desired in his life. But yet we co-create on a day-to-day -day basis because we have the same energy and the same mindset. So we call it workshops. And with those workshops and those mindset workshops that we put together and we offer them on an online world all the time for other people to learn how to do the different things in life or to bring their skills to the table for people to understand how they can do it just as well. And just those people that are in the darkness and don't know how to shift their words and they keep saying, well, I can't. Well, we're going to show you how you can. Why? Because we have thousands of people in here that have done it and proven it and have given testimony after testimony of what they have done, how they have shifted their life, what books they're reading, what podcasts they're listening to, what motivations they're going to, what self-development courses they're going to. And we share all that knowledge right here on a day-to-day -day basis for free. And then all you have to do is tap in and implement for what is best for you in your life so you can go into a whole new direction for you and what truly make you a better person. Because what are you going to start with first? You're going to start with you. You're going to break you down and quit working on everybody else's situations and quit dealing with everybody else's BS because it's none of you. And you need to deal with you first and you get you mastered. Then you can help someone else to do something better within their life. So once you master the financial means and you have those means up here that you can do what you truly desire in life and do what you want whenever you want, and then you can fly on a whim to do whatever, then you have financial means to talk to uh, others about financials and how they did it and how you done it. If you were better in a self-development course and you were doing teachings across the world and your motivation people like Tony Robbins and Gary Vee and many of those, then you can go out into the world and you can show others how to do it and, and charge those prices. Why? Because they have the knowledge and the experience and the training that they dove into to make them the masters in that area. Same thing with what skill you're working on now in your life. You are working that skill and was mentored by someone to get you better educated in how to operate those buttons to like Shiloh right there. She is working today at a tank yard, filling up uh, train cars with pellets. Now she had somebody mentor her on those skills on that board, on what buttons to press before she can move forward. And they walked away and said, she has mastered this board. She knows what she's doing. She can fill those tanks without me being beside her. She is now a leader in this. So now we know that she can come in and take care of this job and nobody else has to be over her shoulder anymore. So now she is actually teaching other people that same skill as well. Why? Because that is what they do as a leader. They teach others how to do it. So the same thing as mentoring and life coaches that we have within here. And people are teaching people how to build businesses, how to do online marketing, how to do 
um, editing, how to do videoing, how to put the targeting ads out there, you name it. We're teaching people all kinds of different skills. Why? Because we're all looking for something more within our life. We know that that nine to five grind, busting our butt for so many years, wasting all that time away from our family to where we now have our time back with our family. I now have the time and the means to travel where I want to. I now have a laptop lifestyle that is truly a laptop's lifestyle and been doing it for three years and having fun with it and showing other people just how to do it just as well. Why? Because I love this energy. I love the health and wellness uh, aspect of it. I like being able to let people know that they can get healthy from the inside out. So that is my, now my passion because that is what has driven me to be where I'm at today. For many years, I looked on to find what am I truly here for? What am I designed to do? I mastered the, the crane operations. I went into the safety aspect of it. And then I get phone calls to do the safety consultant now. So instead of me being somebody that's locked up with them and have to be there on a nine to five behind that gate, 12 hours a day and this, that, and the other anymore, I can live my life and I can go when I choose because they pay me a high dollar now to be able to go out on that job site and give my knowledge that I have learned over these years to be able to tell them that this needs to be corrected and you could probably do better in that. And that's, you know, better training than this. And I can give them tips and tricks and what do they have to do? Now they have to go and implement it. And if they don't implement it, then it will not change because they're so used to habits. The same thing with everybody in here. We're so used to the habits on just going to work and then coming home and sitting behind the TV, making a little something to eat for the wife and the kids or, you know, whatever. And then just sitting around watching TV. Well, is my skills or my knowledge going to move any further by just sitting behind the TV and wasting four to six hours before I go to bed to sleep for another four to six hours to get up and go back to a job that it's going to take me away from my family? Not very much education that I gave to myself during that time frame. But yet once I learned how to utilize that time that I was wasting and got rid of the TV and dove into the self-development courses and dove into some other trainings that made me a better person and a better skilled master at what I do on a day-to-day -day basis, now I can bring more back to the table. And every day that just because I went to that course and I mastered that one, does that mean that I stopped my learning? No. I find something else to dive in deeper that's going to make me a little bit better person. And then once I get into that one and I implement the training from that one, then that made me a little bit better. Then guess what? I find something else that is a self-development to make me a little bit better because who else would be better to invest in than me, right? So you're investing in you every day to learn something new for you to make you a better person. It's called self-development. Reading that book, not just that novel or that sci-fi, actually finding a book that's going to open something up your mind into a whole different direction, a, a different perspective. You know, Andy Andrews has the noticer out and that one right there will teach you and talk to you about perspective and having different perspective of words, you know, taught, you know, out there than what we used to be. So every day guys, we get in here and we open up this platform for people to be able to talk, bring out information and knowledge and be able to get the tips and tricks that we utilize to make us better on a day to day. And it all started with talking to ourselves first talking with that mental side first, getting better with that financial side with inside of us and finding which area did we need to tweak and make a little bit better. It's a life wheel. You got your physical side, your mental side, your spiritual side, your career side, your health side, uh, and there's two others. So which one do you need to make yourself better with? Because if you were already a master in it, then we probably wouldn't be watching this video with us today or somebody wouldn't have invited you in to watch one of these videos. All right, I'm gonna open up the platform. Julio, if you're ready, or if anybody else, just raise your hand. Julio, start, go ahead, Shiloh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Janice. There you go. I mean, if Shiloh wants to go ahead, it's just more than welcome, so I can wait. I'll be good. Go ahead, Shiloh. Wait. Hey, guys. So I just wanted to talk about um, just how things have been going with me lately because um, I'm at a really good place right now and I just want to share it because um, uh, well, as most of you know, I um, was in Mexico at a yoga retreat and I did a lot of inner work and a lot of self-development while I was there. And I've been working on my self-development for Wait, okay. over 18 months now. And um I'm fine. Not that I'm finally starting to see um, the changes within myself, but I'm finally starting to like realize and pick up on little things that I would never pick up on before. 
So um, one of the things that I learned while I was there is that um, I have a voice and I have the power to be heard. So one of the things that I was doing, um, because I'm going through a separation right now, so one thing I was doing was I was allowing other people to speak for me and to act for me. So I was allowing my ex to, um, I don't know how to explain it, but I was just, I was saying yes to everything. Like he would ask me to take my son on days that I wasn't supposed to, or um, just things to like benefit him and his life. And I was putting things in my life on hold and I was falling behind on certain things because of it. So I um, am proud to say that I stepped up the other day and I said no, and it felt really good and it feels good to get my power back. And um, this whole week, I've noticed that because I'm not putting anyone else's needs ahead of my own. I'm putting my needs ahead of everybody else's and it's benefiting in many ways, some small, some big, um, but I've had a great week and I'm noticing it. Like I'm, I'm feeling it that like, you know, things are finally starting to happen for me. And um, I just wanted to share that with you guys because um, it's so important to um, put yourself first and it feels good too. So. Yes, it does. Uh, that's why we say it every morning. Get in the mirror. Talk to you. Talk to those demons. Nobody else is going to be able to talk to those demons and voices that we put in there but you. You know, so definitely good words right there. Glad you're having a better mood, better energy. And uh, like I said, we've been watching you unfold for quite a while and and knowing the things that you're going through. And it's beautiful to see it all just uh, blossoming. It's uh, glad to have it. All right, Brother Julio, are you there? Yes, Shiloh. So we knew that you had it in you all the time. Anything and everything that you're just starting to notice about your character and about, you know, things that are formulating in your life that you're just recognizing, it was a matter of you realizing those things. You know, what has changed? You've changed in the inside. You've changed in your heart. You've changed in your perception and how you view, you know, yourself. You have a voice. You just didn't think you had one before. We knew you had a voice. I knew it from the second that I met you, you know? So it, it's, you know, that change starts within us. Um, Thomas, you know, uh, you, you were talking about it earlier that we're, we're not in control of anybody else but ourselves, you know? So uh, the word says, don't be so quick to point out the speck in your brother's eye when you have a log in your own, you know? Um, we're all going through things. We're all growing. We're all maturing. We're, we're all being broken and, and things and being built up in other things. You know, we're all being mended in ways that we were broken before. Um, and then that, you know, we're, we're, we're just, it's, it, it, I want to say that we're all going through a process. Of, it's almost like a metamorphosis, you know, but some people grow for the negative. I'm happy to say that I'm not growing for the negative. I'm growing for the positive. I'm growing in a positive way. I'm growing in a mature way. You know, a large part of that has to do with, with connecting with a, with a, with an awesome community of people like yourselves, you know, um, which is one of the reasons why I tell all of you, you know, never downplay who you are, you know, what you bring, what you offer. We all have something to offer every single day. We all have something, you know, to bring to the table. We all bring our, our own little specialness to the table, you know. Um, do not downplay yourself in the slightest bit because you might have something that I need. Don't be selfish. I'm not selfish, you know, not in that regard at all. You know, if I have something, if I have some, some form of wisdom, some not, something that, that I felt like God spoke to me or something that I experienced that was just so life-changing or so impacting internally, you guys know I, I have no shame. I will share with you, even if it's extra personal, I, I will share you, you know, I'll, I'll put my business out there. You know, I don't care why, because I know that it can help you guys. I know that you guys can gain something from it, you know? We're all growing in our journey, you know, and I think it's, it's just so important to, to, uh, uh, to change. You know, if you're the same person now that you are 10 years ago, you know, that's not a good thing. You didn't grow much. You didn't mature. You know, you're just the same old, same old. So when people tell me, oh, wow, Julio, I haven't seen you in so many years. You're still the same. I'd be like, the devil is a liar. <laughs> like, I'm not the same. Like, you haven't, you know, I might look the same. You might still see this big, humongous smile, you know, and, and the spirit that I carry myself with. 
you know, but I am not the same, not in the slightest bit. Every day I'm grinding, every day I'm growing, every day I'm fighting. Um, you know, it, it's, 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 it's a spiritual thing. Every, all right, so for me and my perception, my point of view is everything ties into everything else. In, in my opinion, it's equivalent to Thomas's concept of mother earth and him touching the ground with his feet, how everything is intertwined and interconnected through somebody else. I'll use a great example. On, on Facebook, I guess the algorithms say every, every what, every three friends or five friends, somebody knows somebody else and somebody knows somebody else. You know, it's, it's something like that. Well, it's the same thing with us. I, I honestly believe that all of our lives are connected for a reason. For some reason, some way, some, you know, we were meant to be on this Zoom this morning. You know, me and Thomas were meant to meet. You know, if me and Thomas never met, if, if I never decided to, to jump on board with this, you know, if Thomas never decided to jump on board with, you know, with this, where would he be right now? You know, where would I be right now? You know, where would a lot of you all be? You know, you, you wouldn't be, not to say that you would be in a bad place, not in the slightest bit. No, we're all growing in that, but we would be someplace else. So I'm just, I'm happy that we are where we are, you know, in the sense that we're all encouraging other, you know, one another, we're all uplifting one another. We all come on here in the morning, Zoom to sharpen each other. You know, yes, you know, it, it, it's a lot of Thomas speaking or it's a lot of myself speaking, but you know, you guys have opportunities on this platform. He gives you chance after chance, whether this is being recorded or not recorded. We all have opportunities to share our heart, to share our life's experiences. Yeah, we don't welcome drama. We don't welcome strife and all those things, you know. Um, some, of, some of those things can be too personal. So that's why there are, you know, we extend our, our numbers out to, we extend our numbers out to individuals. But we're all growing. We're all maturing in this thing called life. So, you know, I'm happy to be a part of your journey. And I'm, I'm happy that you guys are a part of mine, you know, and me growing and me maturing. You know, I, I've never, last year, you know, this day, last year, I didn't see myself being where I'm at right now. You know, not in the slightest bit from, you know, I, I don't get me wrong. It would have been nice if, I, you know, I wasn't still at Weiss Properties, but it's all good. And so I'm leveraging. I'm leveraging. So no big deal. You know, it's still a blessing in itself. But I never thought that I would be where I am at. On my maturity level, you know, how I'm not scared to speak in ways that I would not. You guys may say, hey, Julio, I've never got that from you. Eh, wrong. Because I spoke didn't mean that I wasn't scared to speak. OK, <laughs> now it's just a different confidence level about me. Why? Because I'm more confident in myself, who I am and who I'm not, most importantly. You know, so I want to encourage you guys continue to grow, continue in that pursuit, continue to spark the change within yourself, continue to grow within yourself. And, you know, Shiloh's experience won't just be Shiloh's. It'll be whatever your name is. <laughs> you know, attached to that. Your experience is going to be your experience, but you have to want it. You have to continue to fight. You have to continue to change. You have to continue to grow, continue to mature. This is a daily process, you know, and in that, that's all talking about the whole spirituality. I feel like everything is intertwined. My spirituality has everything to do with my job, whether you believe it or not. My spirituality has everything to do with, with my pursuit after God. My spirituality has everything to do with me being a, a father, a parent. You know, me one day being a husband, um, me being a brother, me being a son to my to my mother, you know, what I'm saying me, uh, you know, uh, 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 honoring my parents, my my spirituality, who I am as a person, my spirit, the person you guys are like, man, I love Julio that every part of me has to do with that. Plain and simple. I, I wouldn't be the person that I am today had I not been for that spirit growing inside of me, maturing in me. You know, each and every one of you knows what I'm talking about because you felt this since you were a child. You always felt, oh, I was created. There has to be something more than this. I was created for something greater, you know? Oh, life has to be consisting of something more. Well, every single day we're in pursuit of that more, guys. The difference is we're not children anymore. You know, we're adults. And now we're pursuing it while still taking care of our priorities and still taking care of our responsibilities, you know? So if you felt as if you've arrived or you felt as if, oh, you know, this is, this is all life has for me, let me encourage you. This morning, you, you came to the right Zoom. You're watching the right meeting. There's a lot more that God has in store for you. There's a lot more still ahead of your life, but you got to want it. You have to search after it. You have to go and be that, that thing of change that you're continuing to grow. You're continuing to spark a difference within your person, within who you are as an individual, you know, grow in that every single day. If you're the same today that you are tomorrow, you know, then you didn't make any progress. 
you know? So continue to make progress, continue to grow, continue to read, continue to sharpen yourself, continue to become the best version of yourself in any way possible, whether it be being a better mom, being a better dad, being a better worker, you know, getting better when it comes to technical stuff. You know, JJ shared his screen by accident. No big deal. Whoop the freaking do, you know, earlier. It's, it's all great. You know, it's okay. We're all growing in all of this, man. And to be part of this journey, to be part of you guys, to be part of this group is a blessing in itself. And I don't take any of it for granted. I just want you guys all to know, you know, I am who I am because of my time that I invest building myself, regardless of how busy I can be here at work or how busy I am in my life, having to take care of things back and forth, I'm never, out of that 24 hours, I guarantee you that every day I'm taking at least one hour to dive into me, to invest into me, to connect with my source, whether it be in the morning, afternoon, evening, or throughout the day. It doesn't matter. This is a pursuit that you don't have to stop. You can continue to stay plugged in and continue to be charged throughout your day, no matter what. You don't have to feel that dr that drained feeling, that, oh, I don't have, or that, that feeling of lack, you know, or you need, you're needing something else. If you're continuing to build up yourself, if you're continuing to encourage yourself, if you continue to read and invest in yourself daily, I, you almost never, ever feel that way. That's something that I've learned, that I've discovered about myself. All hell could be breaking loose in your life. But if you're continuing in the pursuit after the better version of yourself, you can't go wrong, baby. You just can't. You know, why? Because you're striving for that better version of you. Be encouraged. It's possible, guys. Love you, man. Much love and appreciation, brother. Every day, bringing some energy. Even on the days that he doesn't feel like he even wants to be here. He's going through his own shit process sometimes. But yet, what does he do? He still stays dedicated to come and bring some kind of value, some kind of love back to the community. Why? Because if he's giving it out, then it's going to come back tenfold. You know, so every it's a matter day. of being the light, Thomas. We got to be the light. If you know that that you know you have something inside of you, and some of you may feel like, oh, well, I don't have anything great. That's a lie. That's a lie. There's greatness. That's why I just said there's there, there's something special that each and every one of you guys bring to the table. So don't harbor it. Don't become a hermit. Don't hide it. Don't keep it for yourself. Share it, baby. Share it. <laughs> That's it, because we're all going through something, and, and that's the only way we can help and assist is if we kind of know what's going on and how we can show you what we did to shift our, our energies and our vibrations and our focus away from the negativity, and it was just by the few words, and like you said, not dwelling on it, and then actually, what am I learning out of this, and what is this doing to make me a better person? You know, yeah, I'm going through all kinds of crap right now, but I want to thank you for making me a stronger person. You know, and before I go to bed, that's the, the things I say. Thank you for the things that I was able to accomplish today. The energy you gave me, the physical strength you gave me, you know, because I can't walk like most of you can. You know, my walking is hampered tremendously, you know, after having surgery in 2012, but learning to rewalk and now being able to get balance back in my life and to be able to stand on one foot again and start getting the, the nerve systems reworking back again. It's all. Can, can, can I give you something? Can I give you something, Thomas? I mean, not that you need it. You know, but, the, but the, the, the people may need this. So whenever I'm going through something that I feel is overwhelming in a sense, you know, Thomas's experience and what he went through, he references his foot issues because, you know, he had to overcome that. He had to step away from that. And it, it, that is his testimony. That is his story. It's empowering, you know. But whenever you're going through something, guys, when you're questioning, God, why am I going through this? Or Whatever, whatever you believe, why am I going through this? I, I've changed that. Remember, we say perception is everything. So I've changed that perception. And I say, God, I thank you for my experiences right now. Because you obviously know and believe that I'm strong enough to go through them. So because I'm still here, because I'm still standing and this situation and circumstance hasn't killed me yet, then hello, I, that means I'm strong enough to overcome it. I'm strong enough to, 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 to surpass this thing, and I'm strong enough to go through it. So whenever you're going through something, thank him. Thank the creator. Thank way. Wherever you, wherever you pray to, wherever you speak to in the universe, or just, hey, the universe in itself, thank the universe to say, you know what? Thank you for this experience because you obviously know that I'm strong enough to go through it. Instead of looking at it like, oh, why me? Well, why not you? Why not you? You guys are a light, so be the beacon. See it. For sure. Awesome. We'll open it up one more time before Brother Ryan, as you get ready. Just let us know when you're ready, Brother Ryan. Anybody else? You got anything that they want to bring out? 
Go ahead, JJ. Well, good morning, kids. Um, hey, Shiloh, you know, I got to tell you something. You know, I just love seeing that. That's to me, that's the Kong coming out in you, girl. Let them have it. Yes, you got it in you, and you're in the right place, you know. And the thing is, is that a lot of you know this about me that one of my mottos is to always do the right thing, no matter how much it hurts. And, uh, you know, it's been an interesting uh, meta metamorphosis over the last. Uh, Three more, three months, four months, whatever that I've been joining in with this thing, and uh, you know I've got this this uh, situation where the you know I've been in the flooring business for years, and I had a situation where my very last flooring job of my career it went completely bad, and the, uh, the manufacturer wouldn't stand behind it, the distributor wouldn't stand behind it, and so who was left? Me, ha, yours truly, baby. I gotta stand behind it, and um, so I'm in the in the process of going through the last little part of that. I get to start that today, and and it's kind of interesting, Thomas, because the difference between the last go around when I had to start the uh, the tile part of the job, and all I could think about was how much pain I was going to be in, how much it was going to hurt, and uh, you know this this time around. Uh, as I'm moving into the final phase of it and doing the the hardwood, I've got about 800 feet of hardwood that I've got to install. And, uh, you know, now all I can think about is, is how grateful I am that I have the ability to do it, that I have the tools, that I have the know-how, that I have, that I have the desire that, that I'm going to go do this and, and get it knocked out. And then that little phase of my life will be over with and I'll have a happy customer and I'll be able to, look myself in the mirror and smile and and truly be able to tell myself that I love myself because ultimately what I did was I just did the right thing I could have I could have said well I'm sorry but uh, you know the manufacturer won't stand behind it and neither will the, the distributor so you know I'm really sorry it worked out that way and you know tough titty for you you're out ten thousand dollars and uh, but that wasn't the way I roll and that isn't the way that uh, the, you know, I just had to do, I had to do it the right way. And so it's been a year in the process and it's coming together. And, um, you know, here by the end of this week, I'll have that all done. And, um, you know, so then I'll be able to move on to better parts of my life. But the message for all of you is just, no matter how much it hurts, you guys always do the right thing. It, you'll always be glad that you did, even if it, even if it's embarrassing, even if it's something that you know, sets you back or whatever, you know, anytime that you do the right thing, it always comes back to you tenfold. And, you know, every single time over the years, because I've been in business for myself for as long as I can remember. And every time I've had a situation like this that has set me back, as long as I've done the right thing, it has always sprung me forward. And so always remember that, you know, regardless of what it is, whether it's dealing with your family or your children or whether it's something to do with business, always do the right thing. Always stand your ground, just like Shiloh did. Let the inner Kong and you out. <laughs> JJ, you just said something really powerful, sir. I don't, know, you, I don't know if you caught it within your own words. So pretend we are a slingshot, guys. When the slingshot... You know, what do you have to do? You have to have to, you have to retract it in order for it to plunge forward. So that's, hey, that's, a, that's, a, that's a great analogy, JJ. You gave that plain and simple. So, you know, if, if you guys can, you know, visualize a slingshot being pulled, that has to first be, be pulled in order for, for it to spring forward, you know? So putting your best foot forward, no matter what, definitely springs you forward, brother. I agree with that, man. It's good stuff. Yes. Thank you, brother JJ, brother Julio. Awesome. Good energy going today. Good vibrations going by people understanding the shift in his words that he put in, you know, four months ago, like he was saying, when he first started that towel, he was complaining about the knees, complaining about having to do it, complaining about everything. And we shifted the word process and then just a little bit for him. And then he started putting those better words into saying, it's going to be good. I'm going to have the energy. I'm going to have the focus. I'm going to have everything. It's going to flow good. And then what happened? That part went good. So now he has went and taken care of his fossils on that trip and gotten back home safely and now wrapped up that journey of his life of doing the fossils to now going to wrap up this section of the flooring of his life 
and now doing it all with what? Peace and love within his heart and a happy smile because the man gives out smiles on a day-to-day -day basis. He is very contagious in his community and everywhere he goes with the hootie hoos and the hugs and the smiles. And we appreciate you, Brother JJ, every day for everything that you do. And uh, like I said, we're glad you're back in with the community and rolling and back home safely. All right. So anybody else got anything before Brother Ryan? Brother Ryan, you ready? I'm good to go. Yep. All right. Go for it, brother. Okay. Just amazing energy. Like Thomas just said, powerful, powerful messages as always. So thank you all for that. Uh, just to go touch back on what Julio was saying, just, I'm just so grateful. I've said it the last few days, just how all our paths have crossed and uh, we've all found each other and just can't explain the, the amount of love I have for each and every one of you, every, everything happening in my life right now. And it's just a great, great place to be living in the, in the now. So uh, I'm going to bring something today from the mastery of love, just because I have so much love running through me right now. It feels like my heart's going to explode. So, and uh, touch on that too. Just someone asked me the other day, why do you love all my posts? And I just told them like, I just, cause I do <laughs> spread the love. Everyone's get kind of, kind of gets weird with the, uh, as you've noticed, I, I don't like anything. I love just about everything I see, and uh, that's just all the love I have inside myself. So uh, I'll start here. What makes you happy is love coming out of you. And if you are generous with your love, everyone is going to love you. You are never going to be alone if you are generous. If you are selfish, you are always going to be alone, and there is no one to blame but you. Your generosity will open all the doors not your selfishness. Selfishness comes from the poverty in the heart, from the belief that love is not abundant. We become selfish when we believe that maybe tomorrow we won't have any, any love. But when we know that our heart is a magical kitchen, we are always generous and our love is completely unconditional. So once again, I just, so much love right now for each and every one of you, everything happening in my life and, and all of our lives. Love you all. Love you too, brother. Thank you very much for what you and your wife do for everybody in the community and the, the friends and the loved ones that you have around you that, uh, and that, like I said, just the energy that's moving within your life all together. It's an energy that we all have at one shape, form or fashion. And that I want everybody to have just as well. And Ryan is falling right into it and actually unlocked it and let it, like he said, the love actually come in for those that he wants to allow. And, now the love that he gives out is more from the heart and it's not just uh, something he does. He understands where it's coming from now and how he has the power over it. And, but this, the energy altogether that we are giving out on a day to day basis, the words that we're giving to us, you're going to un start unlocking things that you may not understand. And I'm going to tell you to quit asking how or why and just embrace it because when it feels good, just say thank you for it. You know, I actually had somebody tell me the other day, why do you say thank you all the time for everything? Why do you say thank you for what I do here? Why do you say thank you for, you know, because I was telling my mom, you know, thank you for coming to hang out with me on my birthday. She drove two hours to hang out with me. You know, thank you for actually giving birth to me and having me in your life. And thank you for the love that you have given me. And, you know, she's like, you can quit saying thank you for everything. And it's like, no, you don't understand. I want you to know if I drop tomorrow or if I drop an hour from now, you know that I love you and I appreciate everything that you have ever done for me. And that's why we say it in here in the morning times, we love each and every one of you and we thank each and every one of you. And we're grateful for each and every one of you because we want to let you know that we're grateful for you. So it should be easier for you now to go to the mirror and say, if they appreciate me, why don't I appreciate me? Because you should appreciate everything that you're about and everything that you stand for and everything that you do because you are bringing your light and your energy and your frequencies to the world. So nobody else's. Julio said it the other day. These are all ours. Nobody else's thumbprints except ours. The eye retinas, those are mine. This good looking body, this is my physical body. You can try to look like me all day you want, but I don't want you to look like me. I want you to look like you. You know, because I don't have to go to the gym. I have a high metabolism and a lot of people hate me for it. But guess what? This is my body and I love every inch of it. You know, love me for me and don't hate me for what you don't have. If you want something I do have, I'm going to tell you just like my buddy told me a long time ago. Get off your butt and go work for it. 
you know so if you want the nice truck that i drive get off your butt and go get a good job and go work for you know and get you one if you want the lifestyle that I have of working online, then dive into the training that we show you how to do. If you want to shift your words and energy and start getting out of the negative, then start listening and implementing some of the words that we tell you in here in the morning times. You know, the more power on the positive, and then there is a negative. Negative is the easy situation, the complacent situation, the comfort zone killer, because that's where you're going to go and just be. And that's why I call it the zombie state. So that's why I like the negative energy because it has brought me more growth. It has brought me more life. It has brought me more self-development. It has brought me more abundance and it has brought me more love than I could ever imagine from people that I never even have met in my life except through social media and those that I have met physically. And each every one of you have touched me in some shape, form, or fashion. And I thank you for everything that you have taught me, each and every one of you, the lessons I learn every day. All right. I'm going to pass it off to Miss Shadow to wrap this baby up. You ready, Shadow? All right. All right, guys. Um, I did my gratitude or my uh, affirmations today on gratitude, so it's pretty fitting. So I thought that was pretty awesome. So I experience gratitude for everything I have in my life. I always receive exactly what I ask for and appreciate that. I am grateful for excellent health, prosperity and true love. My life is filled with abundance of goodness. All challenges are an opportunity for growth and I'm thankful for, I'm thankful for the chance to evolve. I am so thankful for supportive friends and a loving family. I appreciate everything I have in my life and always keep the door open for more blessings. The universe supports me and all my desires. I am the co-creator of my reality. Every person that touches my life enriches it. I am thankful to them. I realize that every situation in life has some purpose and thank the universe for it. I am grateful that I found my voice. I am grateful that I've taken my power back and I'm grateful for all of you.